Hey everybody, this is Troy from the do-it-yourself world and the off-grid project. I cut some 4x4s up. It's funny and sad actually that I had to buy lumber to make my sawmill so I could make lumber. Now, because some people will disagree with me, some people might have better or different ideas, but there's raised spots on the mill and there's bolts under the framing where there's race spots on the trailer and bolts under the framing of the mill. So I can't just lay it down and bolt it on. They won't mesh up. So I had the idea of putting on 4x4s. Plus, cost reasons, this frame was scrap metal. This whole frame, all the metal you see except for a couple pieces were scrap metal. And I bought it for scrap metal price. Actually, probably below that. Anyway, um... This is a little bit wider than my mill, so my mill will fall through. But it, it would cost me more, it would have cost even more to shorten it. And my budget wouldn't allow me to do that. But this also makes this mill versatile, this trailer versatile, for any mill in the future up to 20 foot long. So I decided to leave it in the width it was and adapt. And because I had to raise up anyway, and because my budget wouldn't allow me to put angle iron where I was gonna put the cross bracing. That would have been a lot of a lot of extra cost there. I'm using four by fours. So it's a little bit more work, but it's gonna work. It's gonna hold and it's gonna be rigid. And another reason I had to do this is because I found out, I don't know if I mentioned, uh, probably the reason I got the Harbor Freight Mill so cheap is because it uh, tracks our boat a little bit in an upwards position. So I need to be able to pull that down tight to the frame of the trailer and uh, leg bolts on the 4x4s I believe are going to do the job. So we're going to put it together. Let's see how it goes. By the way, there's no reason I can't change this later. So no problem. When I get some money later on, I can probably add on to it, change it, modify it, and do whatever I want. But for now, this is how it's going to be. If we can lift it, we lift it up and then set it down. We got to do this in one motion. If you can, you got it. Bring it on over, all the way down, all the way down. Set it down. Good. Here's what I'm talking about. These bolts that hold all this together won't mesh up and lay flat. So I had to raise this anyway. I couldn't afford to do the angle iron. And uh, that'll be fine. That's gonna work. So we gotta get the other trunk over here. Well, we got the pieces on, just sitting here. I've gotta center them. I'll have to bolt them. I'm gonna get, uh, I'll, I'll put the boards under. See, there's, fortunately, there's places here where you can bolt it, which is convenient everywhere. And I'll have to remove that dog to uh, get to put a bolt underneath there. I'll have to get one there. But all along, it's convenient that I can put bolts on. And then I'm going to have to find something long enough to go through all the way down. I'm actually thinking about a uh, squared off U-bolt if I can find something that long. I'll have to look online. I don't want to drill into my frame if I don't have to, but... I mean, that is what it is. So, I have to put this back together and get that flush. The new part is because Harbor Freight, what they did is took normal angle iron, it looks like, and then ground it flat. This is what the welder said. The new piece that was made won't mate up flush with the top of this. So I'm going to have to, it's a little taller. So I'm gonna to have to raise these on washers, the original mill frame on washers, 
to mate up to the top of this so I don't have a bump in my lumber. Right now I'm incredibly cold and I'm gonna go in and take a break again. It's really, really cold today and slow going. But uh, it's gonna be pretty awesome. It's coming together. We're gonna have a mill, Franken mill. I'm gonna need you to help balance this. And when it's up, don't forget, that side goes over there, and we wanna put it right here, closer to the wheel, okay? All right, I just wanna go straight, slow, just, no, no, wait, let me get it up some. All right, slow and easy. I don't wanna ding up my trailer. Bring it back to me some. Ready? Hold it steady. We're looking good. Am I going to clear that? Can you see? We got it to rotate. We got the bunks in the way. All right, here's the problem. I got to go a little higher. Hold on. Now, can we rotate without hitting that? Yeah. And go a tiny bit higher. Yeah. All right. Can we can we clear that? A little bit. I can't. No. There you go. All right. There you go. Keep yeah. it going. Go around the other side. Stop. We're gonna do this. <laughs> oh, I hope this works. No, try not to scrape that. There you go. Thank you. Right on these wheels. On these on the track. Let's line it up. I'm going to go down a tiny, tiny bit. Line it up. Are you ready? Are you ready? Hold on. It's a little crooked. I'm on. Ready? Are we on? Yeah. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> oh, we did it. Oh, Melanie, look how that clears that battery. That actually, I designed this so that the battery is not going to be right there. I designed this so that I can still mill logs with the crane on. This is awesome. Oh. Now I'm afraid to put all my weight up there. Oh, look at that. The crane for the mill put its own self on. I'm happy. I want to get the mill over the wheels for the night. Okay. So I won't need your help later. I can just do this and not have to bother you again. <sighs> okay, there's that. Do me a favor and swing that around, please. Just swing it around a little. Out of my way. The mill is now on. All right, grab that wire away from me. I believe the mill is on. I'm nervous. Oh, look. It's on. This is scary because this is the first time <laughs> we did it, Melody. Well, guys, that's it for a very cold night. I'm, let me take the camera off the tripod. Thank you, girls. I will put everything away. Thank you very much. Michelle, thank you for the support. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to get the camera off the tripod and give you a walk around. Well, guys, I took my <laughs> screw jack. Ah, uh, Michelle. I took my screw... Um, tractor jack and we jammed some logs under for more stability for tonight and uh, the mill is there it rolls but I put in a, a board in the bunk to jam it up for the night so it's locked in place it can't move the crane that's a dream right there I am so happy it did what I wanted it to do it did what I wanted it to do and that was my vision right there. I want to have a uh, 
a log and a bottle jack. So I'm going to cut the log to fit a bottle jack to support that crane as needed wherever I go. So the log will be a part of it. And uh, and the bottle jack will go over the wherever the crane goes. I don't think I trust a trailer jack. I'm not quite sure. And especially because they have wheels on them. But that is a beauty. That is awesome. And the, the mill passes by the crane just as I had, uh, had thought and envisioned. And I can run the mill with the tires on. It's not in my way. And this is just really awesome. Now, nothing's secured down yet. I've got the tracks put together. I don't have the extensions put together yet. I just found the bolts, but I can do that tomorrow. That's not a problem. And uh, I, I want to make sure I, I do it right. It'll be a little warmer tomorrow anyway. But, uh, oh, wow, that's exciting. That feels so good. We did it. We did it. I didn't know if we could. It doesn't have the motor. I gotta put that on yet. We did it without scratching it up too. I used a piece of leather on there and the, uh, the winch did the job. That is the new winch from uh, Rug Cell that I'm reviewing. It did the job. Electric winch. So, I gotta wind that back up out of the way for the night. And uh, I'll probably take off the electronics for the night. I will keep that put away when not in use, and I'll tarp it. Same as I'm going to do for with this for the night. Well, guys, I don't know how long this video was. It's probably brief, but I'm very, very pleased with the progress today. I've got a mill on its own trailer, 20-foot long sawmill, Franken mill. All right, well, please like this video. I'm excited. I hope you are too. This is Troy from the Do It Yourself World and the Off Grid Project. Franken Mill is gonna live. It's gonna live. This is cool. Huh. Good night.